Matt Penny on pole position for the 30 minute Ford Fiesta race at Brands Hatch. The rain falling, Gordon Shedden alongside him. The front wheel drive cars having a lot of trouble getting away from the line quickly. And he takes the lead though from the unfavoured downhill side of the grid. Perhaps in the wet there's a little bit more traction there. The rest of the field streaming through. You'd think some of them would have put their lights on as well as the wipers, but I'm sure they can all see each other fairly well. Pinney up the hill, Shedden in second place, and Nick Padmore in third place. He was on the inside of the second row of the grid, ahead of Colin Turkington. Down the hill they stream, and everybody but the leader running in somebody's spray. Gordon Shedden down in the midfield, and further back, that's Keith Chapman getting hooked up across the nose of Scott Laurie. They continue. Shedden now ahead of Matt Pinney. So Shedden from the outside front row. Couldn't get a great start, but obviously a good enough run around bottom bend to take the lead from Matt Pinney as they get to the line for the first time. So Gordon Shedden leading Matt Pinney in second position. Third place still Nick Padmore in the blue and silver machine. There he is. Well, silver and blue it is probably, depending on which end you're watching it from. Down the hill they come and then up towards Truids. And Padmore looking to the inside of Matt Pinney. Can't make the move there. Down the hill and on the dirt on the outside, the red, white and blue car was Gareth Howell. He's come up well from eighth place on the grid. Not doing so well though, Max Fraser. Right out there into the gravel at Druids in a clash. Well, Gareth Howell working his way up the field. There in car number 30, Terence Clark in about sixth position. But it looks now as though Gordon Shedden may be able to ease away. Matt Pinney in second, right up the inside. Behind him is Nick Padmore, around the outside there goes the number 25 car of Gareth Howell. Howell again on the dirt all the way down the hill. I think he's in the uh, rally cross track there. Should have turned left further up the hill if he was though. Howell using the dirt on the outside as well, using all the road and everything else that God provided in this uh, Brands Hatch amphitheatre. Started eighth, now up to third place and looking to challenge Matt Pinney, the orange machine right ahead of it. So Howell, who is habitually one of the front runners here with Pinney and with Gordon Shedden, the race leader, has worked his way up after a disappointing qualifying. He was four tenths slower than the pole position man, Matt Pinney, in qualifying, and that really is a lifetime in Fiestas. That was the difference between first and eighth on the grid. Pinney now right in his sights in second place as Gordon Shedden tries to ease away. Pinney will come up on the left-hand side of the picture, right up the inside line, up to the right-hander at Druids. Gareth Howell right with him, trying to stay tight away from all the gravel there on the exit. Oops! Well, Gillian Butcher outbreaks herself, didn't quite get on the brakes before the crest of the rise, skids off into the gravel. The marshals go to help her as the race continues. And will Gareth Howell get second place? He has to lean on Matt Pinney as he runs out of traction, but yes, he just gets through. Pinney now dives to the inside. He's fighting back hard. Matt Pinney will be ideally placed as they come onto the straight to try and race him for the inside line at Paddock Hill Bend. That's how long it'll take. Number 14, John Batchelor. Top gear, it says on his uh, window. Top gear 10, that'll be an unkind reference to drivers who can't drive. Gordon Shen leads, Gareth Howell second there, Matt Pinney in third place, he's under pressure from behind, Terence Clark rubs his way down the inside of Paddock Hill Bend, he'll get by, yes he will do. So Pinney the pole man down to fourth, perhaps down to fifth place because it looks like Nick Padmore will go inside him, yes he will. And who's that following him through? Well it's Nick Padley and Ben Roper in 77 trying to go by as well. Well, Matt Pinney is really having a dreadful time. Biffs and bashes on the car, mud on it where he's run out of road. And Terence Clark there also running out of road for a moment in the yellow car, ahead of Nick Padmore. And I wonder for how long Nick Padmore threatening to try and work his way back up the order. Oh, and Terence Clark makes a mistake as they come out of Paddock Hill Bend that time. Padmore goes by and he gets 
Oh, very, very sideways. Nearly loses it there in front of Nick Padley. And there is the reigning champion out of the race. That's Colin Stankham in the gravel. Very, very unusual mistake for him to make. I'm sure he must have made contact before he went off there. Padley versus Clark. Clark runs out of road again at the bottom of Graham Hill Bend. Padley on the outside now becomes the inside line. So they come into McLaren and then chops to the inside again for Surtees. Holds it all the way through. And he'll go on to Brabham straight in the lead. Oops. And another car off in the wet conditions. Oh, and it's a roller as well for Max Fraser. Well, Paddock Hill Bend, not an easy corner at the best of times and in the rain, very tricky indeed as the marshals attend to him. An obvious safety car period there if ever I saw one. It'll take a lot of manpower to get that car back on its wheels, but they do. Looks a bit second-hand to me. Well, ready to go racing again. Gordon Shedden leading from Gareth Howell as they restart under green flags. And a big group further back. A big break in the field, though, as they got under restarted conditions there. Third place is still the 56 car of Nick Padmore. And Nick Padley in fourth place. Shedden and Howell. They have squabbled over positions all the way through this season. Now they're doing it again, first and second. They've got the two Nicks, Padmore and Padley, right behind them. Well, these four have really broken away from the rest of the field. They made the most of the restart, and everybody else really messed it up a little bit. Oh dear, oh dear. Guest driver Andrew Davidson puts the car in the barriers at clear ways. And the umbrella's going up as well, so he may well have been caught out by more rain. Yes, it looks like that is the case. Off goes Top Gear Ted again, and this time I think for good, as they race to the line, wipers on, Shedden, Howell, Padley and Padmore. This time though, Howell chancing his arm down the inside, makes it without a body rub, so he goes into the lead. Shedden second and gets hooked up on the nose of Padley, just holds onto the car there in that little moment. Howell with Shedden inside him at Druids. Oh, Shedden's going for the lead again. Almost wheel to wheel down the hill. Howell keeps his nose in front though. Just had enough room to control that low speed slide. Padley in third, actually pushing Shedden through Graham Hill Bend there. And it really is raining stair rods now. Padmore in fourth. Terence Clark has caught right up in fifth position. Now a five way battle or maybe a three-way and a two-way, because it looks as though Padmore is dropping off the back of this group. Howell, Shedden, Padley, and now Clark rubs down the inside of Padmore. He takes fourth away. Well, the leaders continue in the rain with the wipers and the headlights on. Replay here of probably the first driver, I think, to get caught out by the reappearance of the rain. Andrew Davidson in the barriers last time round. Back with the leaders then, Gareth Howell leads halfway around the final lap. Shedden second, Hadley third. And Howell makes a mistake. Shedden down the inside, is he going to take the lead? Yes, he is. Nick Padley trying to go with him. No, he can't. He'll have to go around the outside to avoid lifting off, to avoid hitting Gareth Howell. But Shedden leads the drag race to the chequered flag. Shedden's got the headlights on. He knows he's going to win it. Howell will take second by a nanosecond. Padley in third place, but it's victory for Gordon Shedden. So the Scott wins over the Welshman, and that's how they are in the championship as well. Shedden's still on top.